Hello, hello, and happy Sunday to everybody. Welcome with Cooking with Camille. Today we're ready to do our Sunday dinner. We're going to do something quick and easy. Again, I found some green beans that we had left from Thanksgiving in the freezer. I took them out to thaw them out. We're going to thaw them out and get rid of those green beans. I also got some potatoes I just peeled. Just peel. We're going to make some mashed potatoes here. I got some pork, kaba Polish kibasi. I got some beef kibasi for me. And we're going to make a salad. Okay, so we'll have kibasi, mashed potatoes, and green beans in a salad. Okay, that sounds good. Quick and easy. I'm going to time it and let you know how long it takes. Okay, let's get started. I got the green beans out of the freezer in here. Uh, warm it up. I didn't add nothing because they were seasoned so good for... Um, for Easter, so I'm not gonna add nothing. I'll, it's just uh, just green beans. They got turkey tails in them. I just put water in them to warm them up again. We're gonna just let them simmer and cook to some of that water get out of there. Then we're gonna put our mashed potatoes on, and uh, we won't season them till after they're done. I add a little more water so they can get done faster, and then we'll be back. And we're gonna put the sausage on an indoor grill, and I'm gonna get some peppers and onions to put with them. Okay, I don't have the rice to this music, so y'all ignored it. And on my lettuce, I got tomatoes and blueberries. I'm going to cut up a red onion, and I'm going to put some strawberries on the ones that want strawberries, and then I'm going to put some cheese on it, okay? Okay, and then this, the onion, we're going to cut in julienne because we're going to grill half of it, and then the other half we're going to put in our salad. So we're just going to grill that, and then we're going to cut up uh, pepper also. Uh... Cut them up real thin and julienne cuts. So that's the last of it. That's um, onions like this. They'll look like this. That's what you call a julienne cut. We're going to set that aside. Oh, I got the cucumber. I'm going to cut this cucumber up. I don't like the skin, so I'm going to cut the skin off. Uh, I don't know. I just don't, don't like cucumbers with skin anymore. Because it just don't look. It's just. You don't get them clean enough. So we just cut some of it off. I washed it real good. And I just want to cut it off. Okay, We'll come back from that. Okay, you know, I get a fork. And I like to make a little design in it. And I just go around the cucumber like that. It makes a little design in the cucumber when you cut it. So when you cut it, I'm going to cut it in half. So you can have a lot of cucumber. And it just makes a little design. See? The little designs with the little cuts on it. See? It's cute, cute, cute. We just finished our cucumber. Okay, while we wait for the potatoes and the green beans, why don't I have a glass of wine? I'm going to cheer my girlfriend on again, Robin Mitchell. Robin, happy birthday. Well, this is some wine. I never tried this. Sparkling watermelon. Birdie. Sparkling watermelon. They had it marked down, so I said I'm going to get it and see what it tastes like. Okay, let's see. Oh, I can't taste no watermelon. Hmm. Don't taste no watermelon. But, hey, let me say. Cheers, Matt Robin. Robin Mitchell, happy birthday. We had a nice time last night. Happy birthday again. She's going to celebrate the whole month. So I don't know what we're going to do next weekend. Talk to you. We're going to finish our recipe. We're getting ready to work on our, uh, we're going to wait on our mashed potatoes. They're going. Oh, let me turn this back around. Mashed potatoes cooking. Green beans cooking. And when it was in my green beans, the ones who wasn't here for Easter, it's just green beans. And I got some garlic salt, Italian seasonings, all-purpose seasoning. I put a turkey tail in there, uh, some pepper, and a little onion powder and garlic powder. Okay? That's what's in there. And I put a little... One tablespoon of chicken base. Okay. And the potatoes, we're going to mash them. And put salt and pepper and butter on them. Okay. And then we're going to have a salad. And we're going to have mashed potatoes, green beans. and Oh, and the sausage. So we'll come back and fry the sausage in just two minutes. Okay, I got the grill heating up. It's a little grill. If anybody want to know where you get it from, I ordered it from Amazon. I think it was either $39 or I got a special one for my Prime membership. I got it for $39. But I don't know how much they are now. 
Uh, this was uh, about this two years ago. So if you want to grill in your house, I got this one. Plus I got this one. The smoker grill. I use this one too. But I don't use this one much because this one's harder to clean. Uh, I keep my cords and stuff in that way. This one is easier to clean. Easier to clean. So I already done cut my sausage. I'm cutting them in half because we're going to do big everything in half. This is the beef ones and these are the pork ones, okay? So we got to cut them in half. So we're going to wait for this grill to heat up and then we'll start cooking. Okay, now I added some olive oil. You can have butter, olive oil, whatever you want so it won't stick on the grill. So I just added a little bit. And brush it on there. You can do whatever you want. You ain't got to, but I do it just for that sake. Then I'm going to add my, um, let it heat up a little bit more. Two minutes, two minutes ain't long enough. Okay. Much. Okay. I'm going to put the beef ones over here. I'm going to put the pork on this one. So I won't confuse them. You can tell the difference. These are more clear and these are more like they got, I don't know, they got something different in them. I'm going to add the peppers over here and the onions. Like so. You can always add uh, some more butter on them or oil, olive oil. I'll add more olive oil. Okay, then I'm going to add some Italian seasons on my vegetables. I'm going to sprinkle some Italian seasoning on our vegetables and on the sausage. And I'm going to use some garlic, herb, garlic, herb, uh, cut Ruskin Tuss style, Kingsford. You can get this at the dollar store. I don't put too much seasoning on that on them because I don't want to... Um, to be salty. So we're going to add some pepper to the vegetables. And we're just going to let it cook for a minute. We can put the lid on. Put the lid on. We'll cook it for like five minutes on one side. Okay? Okay, let's see how it's doing. I'm going to turn it over and stir it. Turn these over. Look at that. Look at them. And turn them over. Look at that, y'all. Look, they look nice. Look at that. Let me get some um, tongs. Let's get some tongs. Stir that up. We got olive oil on there. Ooh. I'm going to continue to let that cook. Put the lid back on it. Okay, time to check. Oh, let me turn this on. Had to turn my tablet off. It was making too much noise. Okay, let's check our sausage. Mmm, it smells so good, y'all. And peppers and onions with all those seasonings in it. Sausage. You know it's good when it starts busting open in the middle. That's when it's good. That one's mine, the beef one. Okay. I'll put that top back on there and just let them cook. Okay, while that's cooking, I'm going to get these potatoes and I'm going to drain them. Oh, I'm going to drain them filled with the darn uh, lettuce. So we're going to pour some uh, this water out and drain it. 
so we can mash it. Okay, I'll get some salt and some pepper and some butter. Okay, we're gonna salt our potatoes and pepper for the ones who don't know how to make mashed potatoes. Very simple. Day on it. Throw some milk on it. Whip. And let's mash it up. And that's all you do is just whip them until you mash them up and add more salt and pepper to them. And that's all you do until they turn really whipped. Now let's build this macaroni. I put a stick of butter in the macaroni. I let that melt and coat the noodles. Then I went ahead and put three quarters of a cup of sour cream, coated all the macaroni with that, and added about a handful of that cheese. Now start to work in that custard. Give it some good mix, and after a little bit of mixing, it's gonna look just like this. Go ahead and hit it with some salt and pepper if need be. Keep on mixing and get this into an ungreased baking dish. Fill that thing up about halfway, and here's what we're gonna come with that shredded mozzarella cheese. In the middle, this is how your favorite content creators get that nice cheese boy y'all be seeing it. Fill the rest of it up with the rest of that mat. Let this lay down and then cover the top with the rest of that cheese that you have. And if it's not fully covered, go ahead and add some more. Loosely cover this with some foil, get it into a 350 degree oven for about 20 minutes covered, 20 minutes uncovered. Look, if you don't have a crust on top of this thing, put it back in and hit it with a little broil. This is flavorful, creamy, well seasoned, it's cheesy, and... Super cute, super fun summer dress. I ordered this in a size 2X and I really love it because it's super flowy. It came in the colors of red and white and also blue and white. I can't wait to go out with you to the park or something with the girls. It just slipped this dress on. It's very lightweight, very breathable, and just an overall great thing, especially when you want something to just slip on and go in the summer dress. Thank you. 
These meatball parmesan sliders are always a huge hit. They are so good and so easy to make. Let me show you how to do it. So first you're going to cut holes into the center of each Hawaiian roll. You can push down in the center if you want, but you don't have to. Then you're going to make some garlic butter and brush it all along the top of the rolls and make sure you get the inside too. Then you're going to toast these in the oven and yes, you can bake them right in the package that they come in. Then add some tomato sauce and mozzarella cheese to the center of each one. I'm using meatballs I picked up at B&M Gourmet Market, but if you want to use cocktail meatballs or make your own meatballs, be my guest. I call these cinnamon sugar biscuit bites. My friend calls them baked donut holes. Whatever you call them, they're delicious. To start with a can of biscuit dough and cut the biscuits into four equal pieces and then just roll them up. Plop those biscuit rounds onto a baking sheet and bake until they are lightly golden brown. Then, when they're still warm, toss them into a bowl and sort of break them up as you go. Pour a half stick of butter over the biscuits, add cinnamon and sugar, stir so they're all nicely coated, and then I always like to add a little more cinnamon and sugar, and that's it. You're done and ready to eat. I call these cinnamon sugar biscuit bites. My friend calls them baked donut holes. Whatever you call them, they're delicious. Start with a can of biscuit dough and cut the biscuits into four equal pieces and then just pour them up. Plop those biscuit rounds onto a baking sheet and bake until they are lightly golden brown. Then, when they're still warm, toss them into the oven to break them up as you go. Pour a half stick of butter over the biscuits, add cinnamon and sugar, stir. I got early access to the new McDonald's menu everyone's talking about. And now, I show you how you can get the same box at no cost. Firstly, go to the website by the link below. There will be a questionnaire. Answer all questions. Don't ask me how I did it, I just did it, it was hard. I just pulled up to the studio and laid it on the lawn. I just got enough fit. Garlic bread tortilla hat is playing on cheesy garlic bread. I saw this on TikTok and figured it was easy enough to try. It's just two layers of the tortilla, and that's filled with mozzarella cheese, garlic butter, seasoning, and the air fry it until it's golden brown. This was surprisingly really good. Minimal effort. This cheesy garlic bread tortilla hat is playing on cheesy garlic bread. I saw this on TikTok and figured it was easy enough to try. It's just two layers of the tortilla, and that's filled with mozzarella cheese, garlic butter, seasoning, and then you air fry it until it's open. Let me show you how to make this quick look.
Clean your table off, Jane. Uh-oh.